Welcome to Fans of Sport. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Bongani Zungu is amongst the players that contract ended at Mamelodi Sundowns decided not to renew their contract. Before the transfer window was closed, Bongani Zungu went to Turkey for a holiday. So there were so many speculations around that. People they were saying, no, Keza Chiefs is in Turkey. Bongani Zungu will join Keza Chiefs. He went to Turkey to join the team there. And Keza Mdaung Jr., the sporting director, denied and said those were just rumors. They were not true. Junior Kanye suggested that Orlando Parrot should sign Bongani Zungu. And last week, I saw an article which was written by Lorenzo from It Is Key Time saying that Bongani Zungu is training with Widet Atletico Club, which is being coached by Rulani Mgwena. So I didn't want to let you know about that. I wanted to be sure whether he will sign the contract or not. On Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, Widet Atletico Club uh, playing and they won that game. In the post-match press conference, Rulani Mgwena was asked, about Bongani Zungu and to give the details whether they will sign him or not. And he has responded. What I'll do is I'll play the clip where Rulani Mkwena will speak about Bongani Zungu. I think if we hear from him, it will be better. But before we listen to Rulani Mkwena, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. By doing that, you are financially contributing into this YouTube channel. And please don't skip the ads. Um, this is a good question. And um, one of the things I have to say to you is that I said to the players this. Sometimes people misunderstand when you say patient. Patient doesn't mean slow. Patient means maybe from connecting to one to two. You go 1A, 1B, 1C, and then 2. But the ball has to move at a good tempo. However, when you build from the back, there is one very important requirement. Without this, it's, 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 it doesn't help. If the opposition doesn't press, you can't, you can't play fast. You need, you need pressure to be able to play fast because you, are, you build from the back to provoke, to, to get people to jump out of certain positions and, and certain openings happen. And if you play too quickly, it's like driving a car. It's like driving a car. If you drive your car, you have the option when it's, there's traffic, you know, there's a lot of traffic also in Casablanca. When, you are, when you're driving in traffic, you have the option of going to the yellow lane and going 100, 200 kilometers an hour. But the faster you drive, the more likelihood there is of an accident. And so that speed correlates to the speed in football. The faster you play, and also if you play faster than your technical ability, you have a greater, so if I'm not a skilled driver and I drive fast, I, the chances of me getting into an accident are even greater than an unskilled driver that's driving a little bit slow and waiting to get to the destination. And that's what build-up play is. Build-up means provoke, invite, and then when there is pressure, rapid, 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 and try to get into the op opposition half as quickly as possible. We can't always play fast because the opposition doesn't always press. And when the opposition presses, we can then play fast. And as I said, the Potola is a league that I am learning so much every single day because some of the teams that we played against press in different ways. Some don't even press and they sit a little bit back. It is very difficult to play against nine, ten players on the other side of the ball. It's, a, it's the hardest thing in football. And that is one of the things we are learning now. We are a big team. The status is improving of the club and teams are afraid of us and so teams when they lose the ball they regain and they come behind and now we've got to find solutions for that and some solutions mean 
you've got hybrid hybrid schemes and ways where you understand and this is critical understand moments to play fast and moments to play slow when we are getting into this it takes a lot of education and and that's why you see i say this all the time even to my staff we are not here for one season two seasons we are here for three seasons that's the length of the, the contract and inshallah god willing i stay at this beautiful club for a very very long time and this means that we get time to work if i was here just to win you would see me launching balls and playing direct and and all of these things we want to give we that an identity as a stamp when i arrived they said to me coach in morocco there are two big teams in the capital the one owns the trophies the other one owns the football and i said to them i want to own the trophies and the football both that's how big teams operate in big countries but to build the football identity needs time it needs time and, and this is what we we want to be given space to work and, and, and confidence and clarity and calmness i can tell you we are on the right track we've got the right players we have the support of the of the management and, uh, uh, quickly on bora no he will be he is working hard i like bora bora comes from you know last season when i watched with adi and we played against them there was onajen there was uh, uh, latimi on the sides and bora so I like Bora. He comes from the Widadi, understanding the culture. He's a and he's a very good person, and he's working very hard. He must just be patient and wait for his turn. You know the wingers that are, Nasi played well today, even though he missed a, an opportunity, but the output and the performance was good. Chadley, you can see, is is also so. And then we have Sidi. So patience with the uh, with Bora, but he's not far. Believe me, he's not far. He's not far. Zungu. Not yet ready yet. Zungu missed a whole preseason, and so we are trying to catch up a little bit and uh, make sure that he's physically ready. He's training with us. He's doing well. He's a very good player and a great human being. He helps us because he speaks French. He speaks Portuguese. He played in Portugal, so he can talk a little bit to Pedrinho. He can talk a little bit to Atour in Portuguese. He can talk to the rest of his teammates in French because he played in Liga for Amiens. And uh, and then also because he speaks English uh, and 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 that will help us. So so we we have we we understand why we brought him and hopefully inshallah he will he will be ready. It's a difficult league and he has to adjust and physically be ready for it.